Welcome to another creative session with Artsy Kids. Today we are painting uh, this Van Gogh inspired painting. It's inspired by a painting called Starry Night. Vincent Van Gogh is a famous artist that lived in the 1800s. He was an amazing artist. He's a part of um, Impressionism. That's what the type of art is called. So he's known for doing these little tiny, tiny strokes. Um, today, we are going to remake this painting. Very fun painting. I love this painting. So, let me show you what you need. First, you will need a canvas, of course. You will also need paint, acrylic paint, and out of these five colors, you can pretty much make any color. So if you wanted to change up the colors on your painting, you could. You just um, need to mix some of these colors to make your colors. You will also need a paint palette. Mine is really dirty because I've been using it a lot. You will also need a napkin, a thick brush like this, and a pointy brush for details and lines. And you will also need a cup with water to clean your brushes. So you can pretty much get all of these materials from our website. We sell a painting kit that comes with everything. It also comes with a really cool Artsy Kids apron so you don't get your clothes dirty. All right, let's get started. So remember, I always say we need to start with whatever is all the way in the back and the lightest color. So for this painting, the thing that is all the way in the back is the sky. This is all the way in the front, so this is going to go last. This is the closest thing to us. And then since the sky has different colors, then which one is the lighter color? That's the one we want to start with. Our lighter color is going to be yellow. So we're going to start with the yellow dots in, or the yellow circles in the sky. We also have some orange ones, so we'll do yellow and orange. So first, let me pour out my paint. For this painting, I'm going to use yellow. I'm also going to need a little bit of red, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. We don't want to waste any of it. And I'm definitely going to need some blue. Lots of blue. Maybe that, uh, maybe that much might be enough. And I'm gonna need a little bit of white because we have light blue in our painting. Okay, so today we're not gonna use black unless you want to. All right, so I'm actually going to use this brush, the thick brush. And you always wanna get your brushes ready. Hit the bottom of the cup pretty hard so that you can get any paint out and so it stops being so hard. We want it to be soft. Okay, I'm gonna take some yellow. And I'm just gonna pick different spots in the sky to put some circles. So you can do it like this. Or you can use this brush, the pointy brush, to draw your circles. And then fill them in with this brush. But I like to just do it with the big brush. It's easier for me. So you just find whatever is easier for you and do it that way. Okay, now I'm gonna make some orange so I'm gonna take another little spot here take some a lot of yellow a tiny bit of, of red you see it turns orange really fast with the red so just slowly add your red into your yellow for the orange alrighty now I'm gonna make some more circles in the sky for the orange ones Okay. 
Okay, I think that's enough circles. So now I'm gonna clean this brush. Wipe. And I'm gonna take my little brush because now we're making these lines around all of our circles. See, all those lines? So we have to use this one for that. We're gonna take some yellow for the yellow dots or circles. I keep calling them dots, but they're pretty big, so I think technically they are probably circles. And orange for your orange circles. Okay. We're going to clean our brush again. All right. Next, we need to make all of these lines in the sky. So as you can see here, we have some blue and some light blue, which means that we need to mix up some light blue because we don't have it on our palette yet. So to make light blue, you need a lot of white. I'm gonna put it up here so you guys can see. And a little bit of blue. And then you're just gonna mix, mix, mix. Add a little bit more blue if you need to make it darker. Add white if you need to make it lighter. So I think that's pretty good for me. And I'm just gonna wipe my brush here on the side so I can get all that paint out and I don't waste it. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this. Look at my water turn kind of green a little bit. Pretty yellow, but a little green. Okay, so now we're gonna take our pointy brush and we're just going to switch colors. We're gonna do some lines that are gonna be blue and some lines that are gonna be light blue. So you just pick whichever one you wanna start with. And here I'm just gonna go around and I can do all types of patterns here. I can go to this circle here, make a little trail, and then stop right there. It's like the wind blowing. That's, the, that's what we're trying to make it look like. So the wind is blowing from that circle to this circle here. And then maybe it goes around here, around this yellow circle. Then we have blue lines. And then from here, maybe it goes that way. And maybe here, it also goes around this circle. And then this one here goes around that circle. So everybody's is gonna be different. I always say this, don't compare because it's you're never going to get the same thing. So you just have to be confident in your art. That's the most important thing when it comes to art. And when you make mistakes, they can always be fixed. I'm just gonna keep making, so we don't have to go all the way down because the mountains are down there. And we're gonna end up covering these lines in any way if we put some down there. So I'm just gonna make sure I have enough lines up here. Maybe a little bit more of my regular blue. And I just wanna add a little bit more here. Okay, great. So remember, you can do your um, lines different colors if you want to. You don't have to make your sun's yellow, e I mean your circle's yellow either. You can do whatever colors you want. So see here, now we've done what's all the way in the back, which is our sky. Now what's next? What is after the sky? Probably these mountains, because this is all the way in the front. So we're going to use our big brush because this is going to be a big space we're covering. So big brush is for big spaces. This pointy brush is for lines and details and little spaces. 
So we're gonna take some blue and we're just gonna make the shape of a mountain, of a few mountains. Three mountains for me, but you can do as many or as little as you want. Now we're just gonna fill them in all the way to the bottom. So these mountains here also have some yellow lines going down. That's next. So remember lines, little pointy brush. And for these lines, we're going to use yellow. I'm just following the shape on my mountain and I'm only putting them on one side. It makes it look like the light is coming from this side right here. See, the light is coming from this side, so it's going to hit the mountains right there. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our sky, we've got our mountains, so next, the only thing missing is our plant here. Our plant is green. We don't have green on our palette, so we need to make some. So for mixing, I like to use this brush. It's easier. So we're going to take a lot of yellow. I'm just gonna move some towards this side. I could put it in another pod, but I want you guys to be able to see. So I'm gonna take a lot of yellow, a little bit of blue, and mix it up. Take a little bit more blue, mix it up until I get the green that I like. That's a little bit too light for me, so I'm gonna use a little bit more blue. Okay, great, I think this is good. It looks like grass. And now I'm just gonna make the shape of my plant. You could do it like how I'm doing it, or you could, if you think it's easier, use this brush to draw it, and then this one to fill it in. I'm just gonna use my brush with the hairs going up and down like this and I'm going to make a line and make the shape of my plant. So that's one leaf, the other one is a little bit taller and see it's mixing it with my other colors, that's fine. And then this leaf and then it's gonna come around, okay I'm gonna take a lot of green and see it's mixing with my other with my blue which is great because now I get lots of different greens and that is beautiful so it's better if you make your green a little bit lighter than darker like more like a, a, a kind of like a light like a lime green because it's just gonna mix with your blue anyway and it's gonna make it darker on your canvas. Nice, okay, now I've got a plant. Cool. Okay, so one more thing, just the small details. See on the, this plant you can see lots of different colors, even some blues and yellows. So we're just gonna add a few lines on our plant to give it a few more colors. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush, little tiny brush, a pointy brush, take some yellow, and put some lines. And I'm following the shape of my plant, see? And then I'm gonna take some blues. All right. So I think we're all done here. So um, I hope you enjoyed this painting. Look up Vincent Van Gogh and, and look at some of his art. It's really nice. Um, I love, he was my favorite artist. And 
also remember to like and subscribe th to this uh, channel so you can see more of our tutorial videos and also if you don't have materials and you would like to buy some materials I will put the link to our website in the description below so that uh, you can order your painting kit. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.